Hi everyone, today we're discussing Stripe Billing 101, focusing on its APIs and features that help developers manage subscriptions and optimize revenue. I'm excited to introduce Mayank, a solutions architect here at Stripe. So let's dive in. Welcome Mayank, how are you doing? Hi James, happy to be here, excited to be talking about billing. So what are some of the key differences between traditional and subscription billing? Yeah, traditional billing was a one-time sale. So, for example, you walk into a dealership, you choose a car, you buy a car, and you drive out of the dealership. A subscription billing is more of a constant touch between a seller and a customer. Taking the same example, you walk into a car, but this time you buy a car on lease. Uh, one year down, you enable some systems in the car, subscription like for automated driving, you switch it off, so upgrades and downgrades keep happening. And then at the end of the stint, you renew, you buy a new car, you upgrade, or you just cancel the subscription. So a seller is continuously in touch with the customer, and they have a constant dialogue going on. Great. So what are some of the key features that Stripe offers for managing subscriptions? So Stripe has a comprehensive subscription management platform, I would say. So they have different kind of charge models, pricing models you can uh, price is recurring, you can have user pricing. It has subscription capab management capabilities. You can upgrade a subscription, downgrade a subscription, pause a subscription, renew a subscription, cancel a subscription. You know, so uh, a whole lot of features built into subscription management that helps any business provide a good customer experience. And are there any features that Stripe has in billing that can help you to recover revenue for any lost transactions? Yes, definitely. It is actually revenue recovery is a big selling point of Stripe billing. Because Stripe is also so big on payments, it gives us an enhanced uh, capability mm -hmm. of recovering those uh, revenues. For example, we have smart retries. Smart retries would mean that, let's say a customer, we try to collect a payment, it did not happen. We can monitor that credit card, and as soon as it has balance, we can trigger and take payment from it. It also works on direct debit, say ACH, right? It's a back direct debit is coming soon. We also have capabilities of uh, going to the customer and telling them that, hey, your invoice is overdue, can you pay? Right? So, and then if still the, it does not happen, then we can cancel the subscription. So businesses have been able to recover a lot of revenue using recovery, revenue recovery tools of Stripe. So I know you work with a lot of customers who have a global footprint. So what sort of features are available for businesses that are expanding globally? Actually, again, it's a, it's a global business. And one of the uh, good points, uh, one of the positive points about Stripe is that you can go to the market faster, mm -hmm. right? To different geographies. Imagine that you've already established your business in America and you want to get into UK. Mm -hmm. We we can take that same pricing over to UK or you can change pricing very quickly. We have tax engines that are that would work in the UK as well as US. So you do not have to go, you just have to enable that feature. We have local payment methods enabled for different geographies mm. and you do not have to code, you just have to switch it on. So easily you can move into geographies and the pace of innovation is quite big. And so what about different business models and any sort of customization for customers? Do we offer anything around that that you think is very useful? Yeah, I mean, the, all the different charge models that we have, as I said, uh, recurring volume per unit, uh, you know, uses charge models. They, they all help you to serve your customer different in different ways and in different ways in geography. Again, the payment methods help you, you know, to serve the customers better. Plus, uh, we have got the APIs that we have would enable you to do the business your ways. And uh, Stripe's APIs are anyways renowned in the developer's world. Does billing integrate with other Stripe products like tax and revenue? Yes, that is how we serve the customer. That is why we call ourselves a platform. Integral connections with all, like Stripe uh, billing natively works with Stripe payment, Stripe tax, Stripe uh, revenue recognition. Stripe reporting, you do not have to switch anything on. You just have to configure it. The integrations are pre-built and you can just start using all the product together in a seamless way. Yeah. 
So many of the customers we speak to, obviously, they're not building greenfield solutions. They're building legacy solutions where there's a migration of some type. So what are the common challenges that you see when people are migrating? And what are some of the things we can do to help? So migration is always typical. You need to plan on migration because, as you correctly said, they would have their subscription running or they would have their invoices that are open that are yet to be paid, you know, or their revenue recognition system, which partially has recognized the revenue of an invoice, but a lot of uh, revenue is still to be recognized. We have our migration toolkit and we have our ProServe uh, uh, professionals that are helping businesses, you know, d you know on a daily basis, bring their uh, subscription from their in-house billing systems or other billing systems into Stripe. So we've got a defined methodology for this. So you work with a lot of technology and a lot of customers. What sort of trends are you seeing in subscription billing right now? Oh, uh, with, with the coming of AI, users uh, consumption is exploding, right? Uh, then the businesses are trying to automate work as much as possible because more and more businesses are moving into subscriptions and the volume is uh, exploding. You do not want to, you know, just put bodies behind it. You want everything automated. Uh, same with the revenue recognition part because new business models are coming. So uh, revenue recognition is getting complicated for most of the customers. But we've got all these uh, inbuilt uh, tools or out-of-the-box solutions for this, which can help the customers. Do you have any learning resources you recommend for people getting started in this space? Yeah, I mean, uh, Stripe's uh, solutions are well documented. We've got our own knowledge base, which is open over the internet. Anybody can get into it. In fact, the unique thing with Stripe is you can whip up a Stripe account without any charges and start playing around with it. We've got our APIs, you know, which are published uh, widely. And then there's YouTube always to help and Google always to help. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for this quick intro. It's really interesting as a topic. For more learning resources, don't forget to go to stripe.dev and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.